Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and to another video where today I'm at the leasing.com stadium as you can see behind me to watch Macclesfield FC as they take on AFC Liverpool in what is a huge day for the club as they lift the Northwest Counties Premier Division title uh, in their first season uh, in existence as a club and of course I am joined by Will. How are you today mate? Yeah, really well. Yeah, all good. Should be a, should be a cracking day here and it's a celebratory day isn't it really of, of the season and just everything as a whole since the club's reformed. Um, they've done magnificently to, to get promoted and obviously with the games to spare which was just fantastic. Um, everyone else has fallen away and we've just been the consistent ones really this season um, it, it, they've carried it on even beyond that you know, obviously last week at Crew and even before that the 6-0 against Avro as well it was just just emphatic wasn't it really um, they've not let up at all that's it and I'm expecting exactly the same today you know there's absolutely no chance that they're going to go we finish the season off with a whimper you know I'm, I'm sure that Danny uh, will uh, and, and Bandy will be drumming it into the boys that we need to finish the season on a high today which I'm sure they will and then obviously top it off with the uh, with the trophy lift after the uh, after the game which is going to be quite the spectacle um, it'll be yeah. great to be involved in I know it's going out live on uh, BT Sports Score which should be again great experience uh, and, and you know coverage for the club as a whole so yeah really looking forward to it and uh, yeah hoping for a, a positive result as always yeah I mean we've been in great form since we won the league and, all, and, and before that as well like Will said uh, I've seen the trophy in the office it's uh, glistening it's looking beautiful and uh, I can't wait for the uh, for the lads to be lifting that um, today at about five o'clock, I think. So um, yeah, going to be a great day, great celebration of uh, all the hard work that's been put in uh, at the club this season from all the staff, volunteers, players, everyone. Just it's going to be a great day, and uh, can't wait to share it with you all. And uh, yeah, we'll see you a bit later on. Okay, so I'm here with Zach and John. How are you doing today, lads? Brilliant. Good. Really good. Brilliant. Obviously, huge day for the club. This is what it all, you know, it's been building up to the trophy lift. Yep. Looking forward to seeing them players oh, very much lift, so. the, uh, lift the title today. Definitely, yeah. Good to see Danzy back as well and in the yeah, team after yeah. his trip back. So, um, so, yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Zach, you looking forward to it? Yeah, I can't wait, to be honest with you, mate. I can't be can't wait now to start the season we're four months away now from the next season which is just which is very sad but I hope there's a pitch invasion I hope uh, and also we're facing your team next season aren't yeah, we? Yeah yeah. Clitheroe. Against the mighty Clitheroe I don't know where my loyalties are going to lie there <laughs> definitely towards Mac let's have it yeah, right. Yeah right, right towards Mac you're a Clitheroe fan now. But I'm a Mac representative. Yeah, but, that, <laughs> but say if I worked for Clitheroe and they played Mac I'd be wanting Mac to win. That's Clitheroe not offering him a job then. Yeah, right? definitely. <laughs> you won't be getting any phone calls anytime soon. Uh, oh well. But yeah, but, I'm going for a 4 0 win for the Silk today. Hat trick from James Berry, one from Super Tommy Clare. I was thinking 4 0 as well. Yeah, I can see it being a bit of a bit of a party again in many ways. Yeah, I mean we've not really let up in terms of the uh, the form either since we lift since we won the league. It's been you know the six 0 versus Avra and then at Congleton as well yeah. getting the win. You know Definitely. you'd like to think against. Let's face it, not the best AFC Liverpool side. Um, I think we should 
get the win, but you know, even if we don't get the result, it's all about the celebration and the that's party. It. That's it, 100%. Yeah. And John, did you say you go, you're, you're going to be the first one on, didn't you, uh, full time? Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe if we're scoring like it's been like James Berry did against Ashton. We yeah, when you were first on. Yeah, yeah that yeah. was the. Uh, Oh yeah, the silks. Oh, the Okay, so half time here at theleasing.com and it's currently Macclesfield FC2, AFC Liverpool, nil. And it was um, an uncharacteristically slow start to that half. Not really much going on, to be honest with you. Um, a few little ventures forward, but um, you know, nothing really major uh, from either team. But then um, uh, we got a goal. Yeah, I'm not sure who it was from, to be honest. I think it's going down as an own goal. Lewis Fensom uh, claimed it, um, who's played really well, actually made some really good ventures forward. But I think it'll go down as an own goal, sort of uh, um, cross, um, across the face of goal, and it just sort of found its way into the back of the net. Uh, that was right before half-time. And then in added time, of uh, just before the break, uh, we were awarded a penalty, which Tom Clare dispatched. So 2-0 uh, at half-time, not being the best display, but uh, you know we've got the good, uh, we've got uh, the lead, and uh, we're looking good for it, I guess. 
Will, what are your thoughts on that half? Yeah, like you said, it was a slow start to the half. It's not like us at all, really. Um, and then just a sudden burst of energy, it seems, from the last yeah. one to break. I'm not sure whether Danny or Bandy said something there just to make sure we upped the ante there and got, the, got those two goals, which have come at such a great time. It always is to, to score before uh, half-time. To get two is even better. Um, obviously, I'm pleased for Lewis if it does get awarded to him in the end. It did look like he got the last touch, but I think it has officially gone now as an own goal. Um, still take it though, you take yeah. all of them don't you, and then obviously great to see Tom make no mistake from the spot there. Um, but yeah, it would have been nice for, for Lewis to get that, he's worked hard, um, You know, he's been looking for that since the, since the start of the half really, so um, it, it'd be nice if he reaped the rewards from that. But if not, we'll, we'll still take the own goal and the, and the penalty from Tom. Um, yeah, great end to the half and hopefully we'll just keep that up in the second half. Yeah, um, I mean hopefully, you'd like to think that could hold on from here and uh, see this out and probably even add some more goals to the uh, to the scoreline but um, the main thing is now just getting to the end of the game and uh, the celebrations at full time when we lift that trophy and uh, that's when we'll see you.
Okay, so it's about an hour or so after the game now and uh, all the celebrations, which I'm sure you'll have seen on the vlog, but um, the game itself, not that it really matters, to be honest, uh, finished 4-2, absolute goal fest, end-to-end um, -end stuff at times as well. Uh, AFC gave us a bit of a scare in that second half. Um, what do you make of the game itself before we actually talk about you know, the absolute yeah. Incredible <laughs> season. Yeah, it was fair to say that AFC Liverpool didn't didn't roll over at all tonight. Uh, today, you know, they've, they've they've given a really good account of themselves. Um, I know that Jimmy and, and Co are quite fond of them, and I know that they've they, they've been been good with us and what have you. So um, you know, every credit for them to, for for putting in a good performance. But I'm glad they didn't uh, didn't didn't spoil the day. You know, it was no. still still sort of in the script, I suppose. Still got those four goals and, and won the game obviously so that's what matters and uh, I think Danny's always said that he wanted to finish the season on a high which is so important especially when you're then going into what will predictably be a big pre-season I would have thought for the lads. So yeah it looks like there's a few huge games lined up it. against yeah. like Football League opposition, so yeah, it's going to be great. That I mean, we don't know for sure who that is yet, but um, yeah, that will be really enjoyable. But just for now, it's it's obviously so important that we did manage to get that those final wins um, under the belt because, like you said, when we've just spoken to him now in the in the official uh, interview, he just said it. It was so important that we didn't just go out with a whimper and start losing a few games because it does affect the mentality going into pre-season. So um, yeah, enough on, on the game really because it's it's kind of the least important element of today because those celebrations after have just been absolutely fantastic it's just been a, a summary of everything that everyone has worked so hard for on and off the pitch the fans who've supported all the way through everyone else anyone else who's helped the club to get to where it is um, you know this is only the start as, as everyone's kept, kept saying um, you know we're going to keep climbing every season with any luck and uh, yeah just I'm so honoured honestly to be a part of all this it's amazing that what we're involved in here it, it, Sometimes I have to pinch myself and just think, wow, this is actually us. And yeah, it's it's only the very start of a big project, and we're still very low down in the, in the pyramid. But before long, Macclesfield FC will be back to where it belongs. Yeah, and, uh, I'm hopeful that we will be a part of it. Yeah, I mean, I completely echo what you're saying there. You can hear the the fans still chanting Danny's name. You know, it's what it means to them that these fans of Macclesfield FC they've got their club back and it's just it's it's brilliant for them and just an absolute privilege to be a part of this journey and, and long may it continue and from from my perspective I mean the support that you know you Macclesfield fans watching this video have, have given me on these vlogs and all the videos and stuff I said this when we won the league but it's just you know from the bottom of my heart thank you so much and I hope I can continue here and be making these videos for you guys next season I mean, I'm going to be a bit less heartfelt now but uh, you know <laughs> it was a quite a pinch free moment so people were coming up to us at the end there it was going thank you thank you and I'm thinking what have we done we're, we're, no we're no just what, we, what have we done we just, game, just make vlogs I mean we've been <laughs> signing shirts and all sorts I'm thinking I've never signed anything other than like paperwork admin at home but uh, I didn't think I even had a signature at one point but um, no in all seriousness thank you for all the support this season and beyond um, you know obviously started the the, um, the the journey at Longridge and uh, it come a long way since then I haven't forgotten the roots by uh, at all in that respect you know I really appreciate everything that they did for, for us and I think they deserve a mention today um, because inevitably that's that where we are now is as a result of that and the opportunity that Ashley and Cole gave us there so honestly thank you so much to them um, and thank you to everyone here who's welcomed us including staff players, fans, officials, everyone you can think of was so feel so welcome here. Um, honestly it's it's such a privilege to be a part of. Can't thank everyone enough. Someone who I realised when I've been watching the vlogs back that I haven't actually thanked was Jimmy Holmes. Because yes. he's the man who is the unsung hero in all this. He's the brains behind the operation if you like. And he was the one who gave us the opportunity in the first place, along with Bob. Um, but you know the pair of them between them have allowed us to be here and be a part of this so thank you to those guys um, and just hopefully we can continue to be a part of it into next season yeah I mean I completely echo what Will's just said then massive thank you to Jimmy Bob Robbie Savage Rob Smethurst everyone all the backroom staff all the volunteers all the fans who've taken us on board um, just a huge huge thank you it means the world, the sign, it sounds like it's the end, but this, this is just the start, no, guys. No. Honestly, this is just the start of the journey. Thank you for watching and thank you for coming along hopefully on this ride with us. Hopefully we've captured, you know, today and have done it justice properly. Um, I'm sure Robbie's, I haven't seen it back yet, the footage, but I'm sure it's it's incredible. Um, you know, that moment was really something to behold. And to just sit there and, and be amongst the shoulders of your, like, the likes of Rob Smith and Robbie Savage and all that lot, it's just 
it's amazing to be a part of. So I want to say thank you. And like Robbie said, it's not the end. Um, hopefully, <laughs> um, you know, we're we're not sure of our position right now, and we're not going to speculate. It's just. Um, Honestly, if, if it is the end, then this season has been one hell of a ride. Um, I'll always come back and watch as a fan at some point because yeah. I really am part of it now. Not to say I'm not a Bolton fan, I promise you I am. Both <laughs> ones who are wondering. Uh, I know there'll be a few of you. Um, but um, no, honestly, it's so brilliant. Um, thank you to everyone at Macclesfield FC. And uh, yeah, up the silks. Yeah, guys. Thank you for so, so much for watching today's video and throughout the season and hopefully a few more games now in uh, other leagues as I go round and grind top, you know, you know what I like to do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute privilege this season. All the support on the videos. I'll ask you one last time, smash a like, subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on, get me to a thousand subscribers. It's been an absolute privilege to do non-league vlogs this season. With my best mate. With my best mate. It's I was been, just about to say honestly, that. I've enjoyed it so much. So. Thank you guys Thank you. so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Cheers Bye. guys. Bye.